Hi everyone, welcome back to Mommy Talk Show. This is actually a dad's edition of Mommy Talk Show in honor of Father's Day. Um, I wanna ask the dads a question, but first I wanna share my personal experience and explain why I'm asking them this question. Um, my father just passed away, and when I look back on all the things that he taught me, I might not have realized when I was a child how much he was teaching me, but there are things that he said and did that still stick with me, and I want to instill something similar in my child. Um, I can say, for instance, since we've already talked about breastfeeding, um, I remember going to the hardware store with my father. Um, coming out of the hardware store, there was a woman parked in her car, breastfeeding her child, and my father said, that's the most beautiful sight I'll ever see. So for me, that showed me you know, that breastfeeding isn't a bad thing, it's a beautiful thing, and that even my dad realized that. And it encourages me now, even as a mom, that AJ is over one year old, but I'm still breastfeeding him, I'm still nurturing him, and I have that support from my husband and my family. And that's one of the things that my dad said that I can hear over and over in my mind. So I wanna ask the dads, what memorable moments are you creating for your children or want to create for your children so that when you go on, they can say, this is what my dad taught me. Rich, I'm gonna start with you. Wow, <clears throat> okay. Um, it's funny, one of the most uh, memorable moments I have with my dad, it's really strange, but um, it was like my seventh birthday, I think it was. <clears throat> and um, he had to get me out of the house because they were <clears throat> doing a little surprise birthday party for me. Um, and he, um, he took me to a movie to see, I think it was Puff the Magic Dragon. And um, it's strange, here I am, 40 years old, and that's still one of the, one of the memories I have of, 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 and my dad's, you know, still alive, and, and um, unfortunately he doesn't live near me, but um, uh, that's one of the greatest memories I have because he and I went to a movie together. It was a movie that he didn't want to see, um, <laughs> but he did it for me. He, he did it because it was my special day. He wanted to really have, have a special day for me. And so I think it's that um, that idea of you know giving of yourself, right? You, you, you give all, all of yourself for the benefit of your, of your child. And um, again, it's a small thing that he probably doesn't remember today, but I definitely have kept it with me for a long time. Um, so again, giving of yourself is really the what I, what I learned from my dad. And Craig? Well, um, my father was a military man, so you remembered every moment. <laughs> Let's just get that out the way. Um, but one, one of the things that my father was very big on uh, early on was time, making sure that we had that personal quality time together. And because we are, are from New York City and live very close to Yankee Stadium, if there was a game, we were present. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't forget a Yankee game. Mm -hmm. So... For me, it's that having that same ability to spend time with my children. My father was a professional chef, so his hours were very flexible. It wasn't a traditional nine to five. And by me owning my own business, I can do the same thing. I can have time with my children. So now my daughter is on Justin Bieber, and you know that's the she. You know everything is Justin Bieber, so I can run around and act like I care about you know <laughs> watching and, and being in Justin Bieber's world as well, and it makes her happy. So it's fine with me. Okay, Harlan, what memories? Are